Hi, this is Alex Wood with the Journal Enquirer. I'm here with Matthew Necci, who's a, a lawyer in Hartford and a resident of Glastonbury, who's written a real interesting book based loosely on his uh, uh, paternal grandfather's experience as an immigrant to this country. And so, uh, Matthew, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the book. Sure. So this is The Road Will Someday Bend. It's uh, loosely based on my grandfather, Romeo Necci, and his journey, uh, his immigrant journey to the United States, where he came here, his family sent him here to get away from Mussolini and avoid the war in Europe. Um, and he, shortly after settling in the States, he was drafted and actually had to go with the American army to go back and fight Italy. So it's a story that always fascinated me. Um, it's, it's very loosely based on his life. There's a lot of um, me that's incorporated into the main character, um, but I hope you'll check it out. One of the interesting things you had told me earlier is that uh, this was uh, a project you did during the COVID shutdowns. And uh, so I wondered if you could tell me a little bit about that aspect of it. Yeah, so this was my COVID baby. Um, you know, we all had a little bit more time uh, last year. Um, you know, there were a lot of bad things that happened with COVID. Uh, for me, having the extra time, especially with my family, was a, was a good thing. But I wanted to make sure that I put it to good use. And so... This story about my grandfather had always fascinated me, and uh, I'm a big proponent of only worrying about what you can control. So when I had a little bit more time, um, you know, I have a lot of support from my, my wife, and you know, we decided if I was ever going to write this story uh, or put this spin on my grandfather's story, it was going to be the time to do it. So um, you know, this was my life, basically, when I wasn't with my family or I wasn't working for four months, it was throwing everything I had into uh, these characters. And um, what started as a very informal process um, evolved pretty quickly. You know, after a couple chapters, the characters came to life. I couldn't wait to see what happened to them next. Um, and, you know, again, I knew where I was going to start and where I was going to finish, but the in-between kind of surprised me at the end of the day, too. So it was... Uh, an unbelievable process for me, incredibly cathartic, and um, again, try to take the silver lining uh, out of what everyone went through last year. Another interesting thing you had mentioned is, uh, of course, important parts of the book are set in Brooklyn, New York, yeah. and uh, you indicated you'd made many uh, visits with family down there as a, as a kid, and, and then later went to law school there and spent a good deal of time wandering around the neighborhood. Yeah, so my mother's from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. My father's from Diker Heights, which is a very Italian section of uh, Bensonhurst in Brooklyn. And they were the kind of the Irish and the Italian um, meeting ground in, in Brooklyn. So I spent a lot of my time when I was a kid. Um, you know, we'd spend Saturdays at my mom's house where she grew up and Sundays where my dad grew up and, and getting to walk around and, and, and um, learn a lot about where my grandparents all came from. And then as I went to New York uh, Law School in Manhattan, I spent the first year um, living in, in Park Slope, Brooklyn, which was on the other part of the city, but really gave me an opportunity to just walk around all of these places um, and really get to know um, where my family had come from. You know, the book is filled with parts of Brooklyn. Um, that I tried to talk about um, experiences I had with my parents and grandparents, some experiences I shared with my wife. You know, there's other spins about Hartford in here because Hartford's a special place to me. I wanted to incorporate little components of that. Uh, my family has a house in the Adirondacks. I wanted to incorporate some of upstate New York into it. So again, this is, um, you know, I like to say the skeleton of what went into this was based on my grandfather's story, um, but a lot of my own life was kind of mixed with his and incorporated into the characters. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate you sharing those thoughts about a real interesting project. Thanks for having me.